Donald Trump JRS decision to release an email chain about his contacts regarding a meeting with a Russian lawyer has attracted the special counsel Robert Mueller, who reportedly wants to review the material. Mueller is heading a probe of Russian election interference, having assembled a crack team of investigators and prosecutors. Mueller's team will look at Trump JRS messing with the Russian lawyer, as well as the email chain of his communications with PR exec Robert Goldstone, a U.S. official told CNN. Trump JR on Tuesday released the email chain himself it showed how Trump JR laid out the welcome mat when the shadowy public relations exec sent him an email offering information about Hillary Clinton and mentioned Russian government support for his father. Special counsel Robert Mueller wants to review emails concerning a meeting between Donald Trump JR and a Russian lawyer, a source told CNN. This is obviously very high-level and sensitive information but is part of Russia and its government's support for Mr. Trump, according to one of the emails, which were first obtained by the New York Times, but not published in full by the newspaper. The email claimed that the information would incriminate Hillary in her dealings with Russia and would be very useful to your father. Trump JRS response, I love it. The special counsel's office declined to comment when contacted by Daily Mail.com. Donald Trump Jr. met with Natalia Veselitskaya at Trump Tower last June, just two weeks after his father wrapped up the Republican nomination. Republican and Democratic senators on the Senate Intelligence Committee have called on the panel to review Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting with Russian lawyer Natalia Veselitskaya. Veselitskaya, who has Kremlin ties, told NBC she did not work for the government. I never had any damaging or sensitive information about Hillary Clinton it was never my intention to have that, she told NBC News Today show it's quite possible that maybe they were looking for such information, they wanted it so badly. The president's son is also facing a document request from Rep. Elijah Cummings of Maryland, the top Democrat on a House Oversight Committee. In her first exclusive interview, the woman at the center of the storm, Russian attorney Natalia Veselitskaya, said she wasn't working for the Russian government. I love it, Donald Trump responded when offered information about Hillary Clinton in an email that mentioned Russian government support for his father. Cummings is seeking documents regarding the meeting he said the meeting raises questions about their respect for the very principles that our democracy has been founded upon. If Mueller indeed decides to probe the president's son, there is one character witness he will have little trouble locating my son is a high-quality person, and I applaud his transparency, the president said regarding his son in a statement provided by the White House. Saturday The New York Times reports that Trump, J.R. met with a Russian national, Donald Trump's son-in-law Jared Kushner, and campaign chairman Paul Manafort during the campaign Trump says the subject was Russian adoption. Sunday The Times reports that the meeting had to do with potentially damaging information on Hillary Clinton. Trump J.R. releases a revised statement where he acknowledges the meeting was about Clinton material, but that the information provided made no sense he said he was approached by an acquaintance from the 2013 Miss Universe pageant. A spokesman for President Trump's attorney said the president did not know about the meeting. The Russian attorney who attended the meeting is identified as Natalia Veselitskaya, who has Kremlin ties. The Washington Post identifies the person who set up the meeting as British-born PR exec Robert Godelstone. Goldstone says he set up the meeting at the request of pop star M&A Galarav, the son of a Russian real estate baron and who had Trump appear in a music video. Monday The White House denies any involvement in the meeting by President Trump. Members of the Senate Intelligence Committee call on Trump Jr. to testify. Trump Jr. responds that he is glad to answer questions and mocks accusations against him on Twitter. The Times reports citing sources that Trump Jr. was told that the material in his meeting with Veselitskaya was part of a Kremlin-backed effort to help Donald Trump. Tuesday Natalia Veselitskaya gives a sit-down interview with NBC and denies working for the Russian government but confirms the meeting. Donald Trump Jr. releases a chain of emails between himself and Goldstone in the name of transparency The Times says it had asked him for comment before the release. The emails to Trump Jr. feature Goldstone offering to pass on high-level and sensitive information that he says is part of Russia and its government's support for Mr. Trump. Trump Jr. responds, I love it. 
The White House releases a statement from President Trump stating, My son is a high-quality person and I applaud his transparency. Former Clinton running mate Sen Tim Kaine of Virginia Trump Jr. may have even committed treason. Trump Jr. is scheduled to appear on Fox News Hannity. A U.S. official says special counsel Robert Mueller will review Trump Jr.'s emails. Key passage, Goldstone offered official information from a Russia Crown prosecutor, a British term equivalent to a United States attorney, which would incriminate Hillary Clinton Trump Jr. responded, I love it. Donald Trump J.R.S. meeting with a Russian lawyer after the offer of incriminating official material about Hillary Clinton has set off a firestorm around Washington. But confirmation that the Trump campaign met with a Russian to get dirt has only raised more questions. Who leaked the fact of the meeting and the emails? The bombshell that Donald Trump J.R. had met a Russian lawyer and the subsequent release of the email in which he said I love it to the idea of official Moscow dirt on Clinton has electrified U.S. politics and could be a third rail for the White House. The fact of the meeting was disclosed to White House ethics officials in updated forms from Jared Kushner that means there are plenty of people with knowledge of the forms who could have leaked the Trump White House will want to focus on the idea of Obama-friendly holdovers as the likely source but anyone who has an axe to grind against the Trump family could also gain and that means anyone who is not in the Jared Kushner camp will be a possibility. However the email leak is much more intriguing because it could have come from anyone with access to the email, which means Rob Goldstone, the paunchy British PR would be prime suspect also in the frame, Putin's Kremlin, who could well have had the email from one of the A. Galaravs. Then there is the Robert Mueller investigation it is unknown if they have accessed Don J.R.S. emails yet but if they have, could also be a candidate for leaking. And U.S. intelligence agencies could have the emails to Goldstone and the A. Galaravs are foreigners with no right to be shielded from spying, while Don J.R.S. name could have been unmasked. What actually happened at the meeting? So far we have only a sketchy version of events, with Don J.R.S. story and that of the lawyer herself roughly matching, but offering no real details still to be thrashed out are whether the lawyer really did walk out telling the Trump campaign nothing valuable at all and what Jared Kushner and Paul Manafort heard. Who really set up the meeting, and why? Rob Goldstone acted for his client, pop singer Emin, who claimed to have been called by a Russian prosecutor with information when he emailed Don J.R. But who actually initiated it remains murky Russian prosecutors do not just pick up the phone to pop stars who are sons of Putin-connected billionaires that makes the Kremlin prime suspect for setting up the meeting. And it could well have done so as a feint to see how the Trumps reacted by rushing to reply I love it Don Jr. made clear that an unsolicited approach from an apparently connected Russian would get top-level attention. So the Kremlin could both safely assume that if it really wanted to tip the scales with real information, it would get an audience. And it would have a handy piece of compromat information which can be used to blackmail or influence the subject regardless, as Don Jr. is finding out today. If we didn't know about this meeting, could there have been others? The drip-drip of undisclosed meetings raises the possibility Don Jr. met other Russians, for the simple reason that as a private citizen he does not need to make any declaration until he definitively lists everyone he has met. The possibility of more is out there than there are any other Trump aides or associates who are not now White House employees whose meetings remain unaccounted for. Who was the lawyer Trump J.R. met really working for? Natalia Veselitsky claimed to be campaigner for inter-country adoptions they were banned not by the U.S. but by Russia in retaliation for sanctions in Kremlin-linked companies and individuals so who funded her campaign? Putin is the obvious candidate but his usual method for such campaigns is to have it run remotely through a trusted oligarch. How exactly do the Trumps and the A. Galaravs know each other? The precise beginning of the relationship between two family-run real estate empires, one from Russia, the other from Manhattan, is still not clear the A. Galaravs turned up in Las Vegas in 2012 to woo the Trumps to bring Miss Universe to Moscow. They got the red carpet, literally posing with Donald Trump so was that their first encounter? Donald Trump Jr. had been in Moscow a lot around 2008 exploring opportunities there but he did not seem to be associated with the A. Galaravs what happened to get them to Vegas is still a mystery.